Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thank you for asking me, what is chain of custody? The formal definition of chain of custody is the chronological documentation or paper trail that records the sequence of custody, control, transfer, analysis, and disposition of materials, including physical or electronic evidence. But more simply stated, chain of custody refers to the protocol for maintaining the integrity of evidence. It doesn't matter if it's a firearm, blood, fingerprints, DNA, whatever. The idea is to ensure that tampering is prevented, that evidence is not mishandled, and to establish a trustworthy process so that the items can ultimately be used in a courtroom. Chain of custody is absolutely critical to ensuring the authenticity of a given item of evidence. This isn't so just to prove that something tendered in a courtroom is the very same item that was seized at a crime scene, but it is also to conclusively show that whatever it is, at all times, places, and points after it was discovered and collected, it was in the exclusive custody of a person who was authorized to handle it, that it was handled for a proper legitimate purpose, that there was continuity of possession, and that a documented trail exists from the point of discovery and recovery to wherever may have gone prior to the time that it's brought into a courtroom and tendered for admission as evidence. In order to establish a proper chain of custody, the evidence's life cycle must be diligently documented by each and every person who comes into contact with, much less actually handles the evidence. And this includes not only the who of it, but also the purpose for each and every date and time that a given item is touched, be it for collection, storage, transportation, testing, whatever. Whenever any impounded item is ultimately tendered in a courtroom, its chain of custody is always at issue. And how many people need to testify will depend upon the nature of both the evidence itself and the case, as well as the proclivity of the judge. Why is this so? Because, to the delight of many a prosecutor and the chagrin of many a defense lawyer, judges are oftentimes lax in their enforcement of chain of custody objections, allowing evidence in where there's a provable breach under the guise of what's referred to as, quote, substantial compliance. That said, I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.